In a significant move, Bihar CM Nitish Kumar resigned from his position. The 72-year-old leader rejoined the BJP-led NDA and took oath as the CM. This is the fourth time in last 11 years that Nitish Kumar switched sides, sending shockwaves through the political landscape. So here's a look back at times when Nitish Kumar switched sides and became the infamous Paltura. In 2013, Nitish Kumar severed ties with the BJP, citing the need for a leader with a clean and secular image. His call for a Sangh Mukt Bharat was a clear statement against the then Gujarat CM Narendra Modi. However, in 2015, Nitish switched sides as he formed the Mahagat Bandhan with Lalu Prasad, led RJD and the Congress, securing an impressive 178 out of 243 seats in Bihar's assembly. But this was not it. Political tides shifted again in 2017 when Nitish Kumar dumped the RJD over corruption allegations against Deputy CM Tejashvi Yadav. He returned to the BJP, forming a new government. However, this harmony in NDA didn't last, especially after the 2019 Lok Sabha elections. With BJP's strategic moves and the LJP factor, JDU saw a significant dip in its seat tally during the subsequent assembly polls. In 2022, history repeated itself as Nitish Kumar once again switched sides, returning to the RJD and rejoining the Mahagat Bandhan. Last year, he even initiated talks with leaders like Mamta Banerjee and Uddhav Thakri, aiming to unite anti-BJP parties under a common platform, following which the India Alliance was born. Now, with Nitish Kumar's latest move, that is aligning with the BJP, the political landscape in Bihar is undergoing yet another seismic shift. Nitish Kumar was once called Sushasan Babu, as he had been successful to a great extent in changing Bihar's image, which was accused of Jangal Raj since the 2000s. However, throughout his political career, Nitish has switched his loyalty so many times that people now address him as Paltu Kumar. Well, Nitish's recent step drew sharp reactions from the opposition leaders who said that the people of Bihar will teach him a lesson in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections this year and assembly polls next year. What are your views on the same? Do comment and let us know. Till then, keep watching India TV.